Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome to the Muslim Homesteader channel. My name is Sharif, also known as the Muslim Homesteader. And today I'd like to talk to you about preparing your garden for this summer. Now, this time of the year, most people are sitting around with uh, one of these, you know, seed catalog. And they're going through and they're like, hmm, ooh, this would be nice. Let me get some of these sweet peppers, leeks, onions, you know, ah, corn. Okay, so here's a good example, corn. All right. <clears throat> now, when I look at the price of the seeds for corn, hold on one second, put on my glasses, because uh, not as young as I used to be. You know, once you get a little older, your vision starts to go. So uh, I have reading glasses now. All right, so we have different types of corn here. And we can see, like, uh, for example, Tom Thumb popcorn, three dollars and twenty-five cents for fifty seeds. All right, uh, stole evergreen corn. Okay, for one pound, it's eighteen dollars and fifty cents. So you're like, okay, well, maybe I want to have a, a large corn crop, and you're going to plant a pound of uh, corn seeds. So you're going to spend $18.50, but it's not even necessary. You know why? I'm going to explain this one to you. Uh, because, inshallah, we want to save as much money as possible. So all you have to do is make sure that you get something that's organic from your regular grocery store. Some place like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or even an online place like Azure Standard. So, for example, if you go into Azure Standard right now, you'll see that you can buy organic corn for about $22 for 25 pounds. Okay? $22 for 25 pounds. So, it's less than a dollar a pound. And this here from the Seed Savers Exchange is $18.50. Okay? We can go to do the same thing. You go to the supermarket and you want to grow beans. So, black beans, kidney beans, azuki beans, lima beans, fava beans, whatever it may be. Just go to the store, get the beans, the dry beans that are there, and you can sow them in your yard or in your garden and grow them. And you will save a ton of money. And then, the following year, you just save some of those seeds. So now you're not even going back to the store and purchasing anything anymore. So this is just a quick tip of how you can save money with, uh, with regards to seeds. Now, remember, this is the time of the year that you want to be out there planning everything. So, see what seeds you need, uh, amendments to soil, um, do you need pots, um, or your tools sharpened, do you need to buy tools? Everything that you possibly need, you need to be doing that now. So, inshallah, guys, I wish you the best of luck and uh, happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.